everyone, we're the Bearded Bastards with the Villains Demand, playing our 5th edition game, The Ancient World Reborn, continuing 20 se session 27. Uh, before we get started, we'd like to thank Q's Comics and Games for allowing us to play here, as always. So if you would, check those guys out on Facebook. But, I'm your DMJVD. Hey guys, I am Evan the Great from the Villains Demand. I am playing your Elven Bard, Luna Silverstring slash Paladin. Uh, before I get any further in, we're also going to be at Cape Comic Con if you want to come and see us. Um, and, and as far as the game goes, a lot of brains are getting together in this episode. I'm the Bearded Wonder with the Villains Demand. I'm playing Vesper North and Moon Elf Road. And a lot has happened. I'm Smiley playing Orna Dwight Emma. I'm still making shit, it's my thing. <laughs> Alright, Evan the Great. Give me the recap. Oh, okay, so recap. Uh, we went from, uh, we've done, we done our meeting, and then after the meeting, we've uh, gathered uh, Vesper's mother, and Orid, myself, and we have uh, kind of talked to each other, went to a bar. He got her, um, I guess got her some good food, asked many questions, uh, found out that I can trust her. I feel like she is the real deal. Uh, she's kind of scared but proud of Vesper because of what she's capable of, how much blood she's got on her hand, but she went through all that to get her out. Uh, talks, wants to know about me and Ord. We told her uh, some of our stories. We try not to leave, uh, tell her any of the sad stuff. Um, she is a uh, local entertainer herself. Um, she was. Was. Um, I show her my violin, tell her about my parents, and kind of get her in a happy mood set. We decided we we're going to go back to uh, our, uh, what do we call it, the uh, safe house, and uh, everybody's got their own room and their own form of uh, what they're going to be doing. I believe he's probably going to be talking all night, working on the forge. Yeah. This. And uh, I decided I'm not sure to be awake whenever I get there. To send a message um, to the arch, my archmage uh, buddy Crowland, and then I sent a message to Lee Elson, let you know everything's all right, and he said, be prepared for the morning. Okay. I, just, I don't think I left anything out, right? No. Uh, bearded and smiley, give me top sheets. Give me top oh, we're a bearded bastard, by the way. Sorry, I said that. <laughs> I didn't know that, sir. Oh. Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you all died here tonight. I just want to look at this. All right. Damn. So. Wrong pipe. Um. <clears throat> so, uh, morning comes. Uh, or what time do you get back to your safe house? Early in the morning, late for being night, probably about two or three o'clock. All right. <clears throat> um, so you, it's enough to get enough sleep before noon. Yeah. Uh, about eleven o'clock, um, <clears throat> there's a knock on each one of your doors, and you open up. It's Leo's. How do you and get out? They let him out. Oh, I thought he said. <laughs> I thought he said it was the middle of the night. Sorry. Uh, no, no. This is well, it's about eleven at night. Oh, okay. I mean, in the morning, not at night. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. And, uh, he, <laughs> he, he, and uh, he's like, um, are you ready? Uh, anybody surprised to see him? No. I am. Well, I thought, he, um, I thought we were supposed <clears throat> to pick him up. Oh, yeah, no one said anything about yeah. where to meet up or anything. Well, he he just he told he her. Yeah. yeah, well, he said, uh, well, he just told Luca, you know, he'd see you guys. I tell, I, I uh, tell him I'm ready. I've got my uh, everything I need for the meeting gathered. I say I'm glad you're okay, and I tell him um, after this meeting, I don't want there to be any more secrets between us because you mean too much to me. And if I lost you, not knowing why, it would torment me for the rest of my life. And I kind of walk away. It's being hard to get right now. I want to say, just confess to you, boy. All right. Uh, you don't want to act You say that, and you just kind of walk out of the room. Yeah. Uh, he just kind of looks stunned. When we walk out, uh, leaning up against the wall, right outside your door, is a uh, Agri. She said, "Oh, that was sweet." <laughs> oh, it was, wasn't it? And uh, oh, you, you're not. <coughs> Hey, this is at any, all your individual doors. All right. And uh, she's like, man, Leo soon just kind of leave her hanging. Man, romance. <laughs> um, eventually, you'll come to your door, Vesper, awesome, back on the door, <laughs> Leo Uh Luda, you're there. 
You see uh, Acrio. She's like, Morning. How'd your meeting go with your uh, mother? Good. Mm. Still is in? I'm not going to reply to that. He's like, <coughs> Well, maybe after today you will. Uh, they go to Ord's room, knock on the door. They're all there. They hear a loud snore. Yeah, probably. <laughs> snore answers the door. Uh, he's like, <laughs> Master sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Ord was out late. He was banging all night. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Snore's like, uh, I still have to give you this letter if something happens and he's asleep. <laughs> That's not for now, that was for last night. You can throw that away. Uh -huh. And he just tosses it on the floor, okay. Um, so you guys gonna wake him up? Yeah, we'll be like Snort, we need to wake him up. And Snort goes up there and like pinches his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and he just ah, goes flying off the bed. They're here, they're here! Oh, no. <laughs> new things, new things. Um, and uh, you hear from every voice, Zachary, she's like, you could never be a Zint. <laughs> well, maybe I've been one all this time. <laughs> like, one of you has. I took up my alchemy joke and took a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, you gather yourselves and um, you guys get downstairs to this safe house. You realize after a while when you're walking to the meeting with the Lord's Lights, she is the only Zen with you. Can I check for a tail? Yeah, sure, but you don't see no wise men or nothing. Well, let's say, uh, there is no tail. 18. No. no tail. Well, I think uh, she, she seems perfectly comfortable and fine, like she does not have a now. care in the world as this is going on. So, um,. I mean, there's no strange looks in public. I mean, you don't, you're looking around and you're kind of paranoid, Vesper, in a way. You don't see anybody. Your mother stays back. Yeah. Because the yeah, Harper Hay just hopes that they'll take care of her. Um, you know, I think I'd rather be fighting on the dragon than dealing with this shit. Um, I grew up school. Why is that? You know, in human politics, they only care about themselves. Mm. She's like, uh, What's really in front of them? They have no sense of unity. She's like, after today, that might change. Here's the hope. Mm, she's like, hope and is... Sincere. She said, hope is all we have. Right. Um, so it's the same thing. You come to the Palace of the War of Lines. Uh, it's, like I said, it's full of adventurers, all types of people in this place, you know. Um, there's all years of talks of giants. That's all you hear about, you know, talks of giants. But it's not to the degree that it was. You have it, no one's talking about any recent giant attacks. We're talking about the, like the last ones. The only th the only attacks that you hear of are still the ones in the northwest up by the glaciers and stuff. And it's all frost giant talk. That's the only thing you hear about. <coughs> I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Venture sizing you up as you walk through. Some will offer or a <coughs> nod. You even hear someone say, "Hey, that's Greensfield Company." They say they hate the hips of the golden bills. Hey, they were running around with that uh, giant frost giant. You sure maybe they're not in league with the guys up north? You start to hear whispers about stuff like this as you're walking through. This time there's no secret door. There's no secret hallways to go through. You come to a giant room with a long table. And you see a bunch of familiar faces. Um Queen Malabridge's and Tanabridge's battle hammer are here again. Salazar and Thea Ivor are still here. Uh, Turn Thunderspell's Hornblade is still here. Uh, do you want me to go up who these guys represent as I'm going through them again? I'm fine with that. Yeah. I can don't write them down. I can send no, you. I think I, oh yeah. I'm I'm still 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 great. Down. Because battle hammers for Gauntlet Grim, uh, the Ivors are the War of the Gauntlet. Obviously, they're there for the Green Fields. Yeah. Uh, Horn blades for Silvery Moon, um, Estevals for Cormir, um, Marshal Uldor Raven Guards for Baldur's Gate, um, Remalia Haven Tree represents the Harpers here. Um, we also goes, uh, I don't know, not yet, Lord. Um, Lord Dalgut does not sit at the table. As you walked in, his lips pursed up like, he, like he's angry. 
in his spot sits a woman you've never seen before. And he stands behind her, arms behind his back. You can tell he purses his lips like he's really angry when you guys come in. Um, there's also a, I guess what I could describe as a, um, a druid. It's a half-elf male. Um, you do realize that he has a pendant on his arm, much like Roland's, and beside him is a familiar face. The daughter. Eld Hillary. And she smiles as you guys walk in. Yeah. I give her a quick wave. I realize where I'm at. Stop. There is also what um, you elves would realize is a race of wild elves. And he wears a golden crown of deer antlers and is dressed in fine regalia. He looks like a king. They normally don't hunt as many. He looks oh, he's, No, these are all new people from yeah. the last time. There's two more familiar faces here to you guys. The Lightning Star Brothers, Varys and Aust. Varys? Varys sits at the table and Aust stands at attention behind him. The Varys we know? Yes. The Varys you know. Oh, they shit. give you a nod as you walk in. I nod. And as you guys walk in, uh, they have strange looks as your slaves from yes. Iron Slide walk in and then a strange tiefling. The woman you do not know, um, there's, there's, also, there's also a young elf with her too. Um, she introduces herself. She says, uh, I am Lady Laurel Silverhand, the, the known open lord of Waterdeep. I preside over the Lord's Alliance. So She's like, higher than that. state yourselves. For I'm not familiar with you personally, but I have heard of you. I'll bow to your I'm Vesper Nord of Greenfield's company. I bow as well. I am Luther Silverstring of Greensfield Company. I am Ola Dwight Hammer of Greensfield Company, second son of Dagmar Dwight Hammer. And Roland will introduce himself as well. Um, Leosin, he goes, takes his spot behind uh, Vermilia Haven Tree, who you know is a high ranking Arthur, and he's like, um, Greensfield Company, uh, as I have kind of um, told you guys. Uh, they brought some important news with us. Um, I've kind of filled you guys all in over this Duke Zalto and Iron Slag. Um, he uh, is wanting a meeting with you guys. He wants to be part of all this. And also, um, this is Akira Kaskis. She is a. Uh, she says, "There's no need for that. Um, I'm a member of the Zenerum." And everybody's, I mean, everybody just takes this big, deep breath. Well, see, from the second she was with us, I've been getting her glares every step of the way. Uh, when, <laughs> when everybody like does that, I just be like, don't act so fucking surprised. Um, surprised Dog that never remember, he shouts out, he's like, a zit! And, our, and Silverhand says, silence. And you see him stand at attention. He'll see me. And he bows, he says, sorry, Lord. You'll see me look a bit sad. <laughs> he probably lost his spot with this girl. Um, she's, yeah. She says, uh, she asks, she says, um, and what is a zit doing at this council? By all rights, I should arrest you on the spot. Lady Olsen says, excuse me, Lady Silverhand, but um, there's much more to this than just her being a zit. As you can tell, um, we're all here from different backgrounds. Um, we all have our own concerns, but we're supposed to be united front. And as you know, the old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And she says, she takes about, she says, that is correct. And uh, she was like, I would like to see it on Gloria's Alliance. I would like to propose an alliance with the Zinnerum. She's like, and um, I have a means to back up what, my, what I want. And everybody kind of looks at her skeptically. The lady says, um, Greensville Company, she comes with a U. I'm a Gordon Vesper. Everybody kind, of, everybody kind of looks at everybody. And then you're looking at Vesper. Rowan looks at Vesper. Luna looks at Vesper. <laughs> we have no ties to this interim, but... Nobody wants Tiamat to come back. Um, well, Yosin's looking at you like, like giving you God, like go ahead and tell, tell everybody what you know about the about her, like what she's told you. 
He's like giving you the okay. Like he's giving you a look. Like, see, so you used to be my slave lord, and <laughs> no, not that, but like anything you need to divulge to try to be these people right now. Like he's like it's okay. Go ahead. They, like, they had a chance. We we were in a small town of Loudwater. Some of you may know where that is. And we had killed several Zentaro agents because of a personal grudge of mine. And uh, when we came back to Waterdeep, I had a run-in with some of the Zents. And they wanted peace, they wanted to talk. And so they gave me back something that they had in mind. They obviously are not looking for a fire. Um, as you say this, the twin queen battle hammers, Hornblade, never remember the, let's see, who's he, uh, the druid that stands with Ill Hillary and Lady Silverhand, she's trying to quiet them down, but they are yelling, you know, no, never trust a zit, and then, Everyone else is kind of quiet and like if they're close to each other, they're leaning and whispering. But the ones I mentioned are yelling, no, never trust the Zen. You can't trust the Zen Terra. What's wrong with four? Is that when I just pull up my vampire head and toss it on the table? No. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that quiet them. They're mad about the Zen. Wait till you took them. Or gives this mm -hmm. look of pure disappointment. Like this pure shame of what he's seen. And this is the great unity of mankind. Always yelling, arguing, bickering. When the entire world is at stake from a bloody god coming back. You... Is it even worth saving at this point? Uh, roll and roll me a persuasion. Roll? Not roll it. Or... Seventeen. I'll use one man's braces to give me an advantage on it. Seventeen. Hey. Yeah. A, you can't go wrong with that. So seventeen's what you got total? Uh, or is that what's on the die? Eighteen. Eighteen. Alright. Um You get a lot of quieting down from uh, Silverhand, who's trying to quiet everybody, she's yelling, quiet, quiet. Um, you've kind of won some people over. You have won over Silverhand, the Emerald Enclave guy who's known as Winterhound. But it's not enough to win over the Battle Hammer Queens. Hornblade from Silver Moon or Neverwinter. They're not having it. They continue to talk over Silverhand. Um, they're just, no, not to trust them. Never trust is it. Um, Leosin tries to speak up over everybody and says, hold up. There's more to this than what you know. Um, me and her have spoke last night and what she has is very important to the cause. And, uh, I agree, she's like, very much. And she goes and pulls herself a seat off the table and takes a sit. Oh, shit. And she smiles. Um, a lot of people, even those that weren't yelling when the proposition was brought up, are giving her, like, looks of disrespect. I agree is as well. Um, if he wants to work, he knows he doesn't like this woman or likes the idea of her being Yeah, but Vesper's just like, it's a fucking table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not so much as a table. It's she's assuming herself amongst them. Yeah, but Vesper doesn't give a fuck. To her, they're probably all just as bad. I don't care about herself. <laughs> okay, she Mark said, um... Itself. Being snotty doesn't help. She's like, um, she introduces herself. Um, I'm Acarius Gaskus. Um, as you all know, I'm a Zend, I'm a high-ranking member of the Zenorum. Um, I understand you do not like me, but obviously, by the tones of your voice, some of the looks that the rest of you are giving each other, you do not like each other either. So, are we a council as a whole or council divided? Obviously, it is divided. 
She's like, but maybe with what I have, some of you will trust me as Greensfield Company has come to trust me, correct? And she's looking at you guys. To an extent. An extent is better than nothing. Obviously, the extent that you trust me is more than what these people seem to trust each other. Now, Vesper, would you agree that that is more? Yes. Okay, so please hear me out. I would agree to that as well. Um, she tells you, ever since we've been investigating the Cult of the Dragon, years ago, we have done our best to infiltrate their ranks. She's like, we have had people work for us not knowing and have tacked the cult and done a great job. Um, they helped to run the cult away from Greenest at a location they were at. Um, stopped some of them. They even wound up taking some of them out at a small town called Parnast. She's like, but my most important operative is in one of their strongholds. Is a place that he has moved into within the most recent year. Um, she kind of pauses to gauge everybody's reaction. What is your reaction to this, Luda? I am curious of what she's about to say next. I already know who did it. <clears throat> who do you think it is, Esther? It was whatever that quote figure was, wasn't it? No, that was Osborne Greenell's apprentice that he had sex with. Yeah, I'm not talking about in the uh, in the castle. Mm -mm, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's not a vampire. No, that's a No, this she had an agent. I think it's the blue, I think it's the blue half dragon for some damn reason. I don't no. know why. Um, no. everybody's kind of listening intently on what she has to say, and uh, Tana and Malabridge is the twin queens right now. We'll go on with it. Like they're really wanting. She's I, like, I, um, I'd say it at the exact same time yeah. as them. Like it's a dwarven thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. They kind of look at you curiously when you say that. When, when like, after you, like, they got to jump back, like, oh. That's the top of Um, she tells you, uh, due to the fact that, um, our agent may be found out, because we don't know where the Cult of the Dragon has agents, just like us since. And then she motions to Haven Tree and Leosin, a hand towards Har uh, Luda, just like the Harpers, cannot give you his location. Once again, it roars. Everybody's yelling at her, yelling at each other. Oh, we can't trust her. We can't trust her. And Lady Silverhead is doing her best to quiet everybody down. And Agri just kind of sits there quietly, patiently, and smiles. Yeah. Roll me an insight. Everybody? Everybody. She's already got control of this room. 19. 7. <laughs> Luda, you're kind of right you realize that this is what she wants. She wants everybody to argue with her just so she can play your hand and then the gain your trust. Yes. You can see and she's doing it very well. This is a Tarian way. She says, um, Leosin, Haven Tree. And uh, she kind of looks at Greensville Company. She's like, tell me, what is the one thing that you, when you were at Parnast, found out you needed that was there that was important. Leosin speaks up. Go ahead, what? I don't want to say it. No, go ahead. If you're going to say something. I, I was going to. <laughs> but if you're going to, go ahead. The crown. This is the crown. She says, yes. And how important is that, Leosin? Leosin says, uh, we have learned that the five crowns come together and are needed to summon Tiamat yeah. from the hills. And uh, you see everybody just kind of look around at each other. Um, you can kind of tell some people are taken off about it. Some people are angry. You can tell that this was something that was not made known at this table. And she says, my agent has worked their way up to the title of worm speaker. There's only five of them. There's one of them dead. There's four of them now. We killed her last night. She's like... And then you did not retrieve a crown. That is not good, right? We didn't right. know about the crown. She was like, and she kind of looks at Leosin. She looks back at you, know Vesper, that. after you said that, and she kind of goes, shrugs her shoulders, like, what am I to do about it? So apparently it's an even no basis. <clears throat> There's not enough trust. It's the two wizards. She's like, play. and I can, I can trust you that he has control of the crown 
that favors the blue dragons. So he must be the dwarf. Mm, no. But he feel, feels that after what's happened at Parnast, the cult is making their moves. Now I cannot draw my operative away due to the fact that no one here at this table knows where the cult plans on raising the drag queen. Not even I know. But with someone such in deep undercover, eventually they will find out and then we will know where to direct our attack, where to march our armies. You know, I could ask him, but I don't think that'd answer. Who? Monath. Oh, no. She won't answer <laughs> at all. So she is not bothered to answer you at all. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I, like, in my head, like, I've been, like, messaging her this whole time, like, randomly. Um, Shit. And you can tell just by this information that she's given, everybody's very intently listened into her. There's a lot of nodding of heads, yes. There's a lot of cross whispering. Um, you realize that she's gathered the attention of this room and she is slowly doing what she said she was going to do gain a seat on the Lord's Alliance. What about the masked woman? What masked woman? No, she, like the one that got your, your weapons in the very beginning, we've been chasing down, never found out her name. That's Mondef. Oh, that's what you just asked me. Yeah, that's who you're talking about. Mondef. Hmm? Could it be her? <laughs> she's still going to die. <laughs> and she says, so with. She's like, so with me at the table, you already have someone on the inside. She's like, so, the question is, do I have a seat at the table? And everybody kind of looks around at each other, and then all their eyes fall on Lady Silverhand. Um, she looks to you guys. She says, obviously you have already spoken with... Acria, and obviously you know some of this. She saves us for the council. I tell him. We know they have eyes everywhere. Everything she said so far is true. Just like the Harpers, they have eyes everywhere. She, everything she said, the warm speakers, all that. We the them them them. Want good people. They will do what it takes to do to get into these places. And uh, Acria, she's like. It's very true, Mr. Righthammer. She's like, but someone is needed. Exactly. Someone must get their hands dirty. She's like, obviously, some of you um, represent communities that wish not to have such things on your hands. Um, and she points to uh, Hornblade, the Silver Moon. Though you've led armies during the War of Silver Marches. She's like, did you enjoy that? And he just kind of shakes his head, no. He's like, no, but I did what needed to be done. You're correct. He, she says, exactly. She looks to the Queen Battlehammer. She's like, taking old Gauntlegrim from the drow. She was like, though dwarves will accept war, is that what you want to do to the losses? All three clans from Mithra Hall, Adbar, and Felbar lost? And they together they will say, no. She's like, exactly. She's like, so, we can do this. Obviously, the Harpers, she motions to the Greens, like, already have their people to do such things. I can bring my own people to do such things for you. Once again, you kind of see everybody at the table kind of mull it over, and you can see that she's winning them over. You can't wait to war with clean hands. She's like, no. She's like, and how would you know? She kind of looks in your eyes, she realizes that you know this for a reason. I don't answer her. She says, so, am I a member of the Lord's Alliance? Lady Silverhand says, we'll put it to a vote, excluding myself. Uh, Mala Bridges and Tana Bridges Battlehammer? No. Hornblade? No. Never remember, no. Due to you, Ord Whitehammer, and what you've said a while ago, you've won over Winterhound, yes. The Ivors of Gauntlegrim, not Gauntlegrim, Order of the Gauntlet, yes. Haven Tree from the Harpers, yes. Melodrag, who is the, uh, where is he at? 
who this guy who looks like this king with the antlers? Yes. Esteval, Sir Esteval. Yes. And Raven Guard from Baldur's Gate. Yes. She is voted into the Lord's Alliance. The Zentarian now have a seat.